What's up guys, Godzilla back again. Today we're going to make a boost leak tester, a DIY version. I went to the track and ran some disappointing times and thought it was just because my launch sucked. Um, but after going over the logs, I found that I wasn't hitting full boost. Um, so I believe I have a boost leak. So we're going to make a tester out of this. This is a three inch PVC cap. Um, but the outer diameter of the, of this cap actually fits very snug into my four inch coupler for my turbo. So we're going to use that. And then we have just a, air compressor fitting here to put the uh, the hose onto and then we'll put the regulator on the air compressor down to like I don't know 10 pounds of uh, pressure to start off with and then we're gonna listen for any air leaks but basically to make this all you gotta do is take a drill I have a little stepper bit here and we're gonna drill it so until it is just a little bit smaller than the threads so that way we can thread this into the plastic we're going to use some right stuff one minute gasket uh, to seal it up so let's get into it So what we got here is a 14 millimeter. And we'll use that to help thread this into the cap. So we're in there, we don't want to tighten it up too much because it's just plastic threads. That's why we're using the silicone to seal it. Um, this stuff's supposed to, you know, get hard in about a minute. Um, I mean, it won't fully cure, but at least we'll be able to uh, know that it's at least hard and it won't come out. I need to clean my tool off. Oh. So as you can see here, the compressor has about 60 pounds of pressure in it, but the uh, regulator says about 15, but when the air starts coming out of the um, hose, it goes down to about 10. So just got to keep an eye on that make sure you're not putting too much pressure in. Um, ideally, you want to put as much pressure in as you're going to run for the boost. So like right now I'm running 17 or I'm supposed to be running 17 so I'll probably up it to probably you know around 17 I mean it's a pretty small gauge so I'll try to get it around 17 so anyway let's uh, put this uh, tester in there and see what we're working with A 
we'll see how much uh, force these uh, regular hose clamps can hold because uh, obviously this portion is not usually pressurized so we'll see also I, uh, I still have the boost solenoid hooked up and I'm pretty sure it's open right now so this may be a leak and if that's the case then I'll just pull this hose off and plug the, the port right there and then we'll be able to pressurize the rest of the rest of the system and see all right let's give it another shot no it wasn't this it's this port right here So, right away, there's this one right here, and it sounds like I have a boost leak coming from somewhere down in the fender well where the piping is in there. Yeah, I can definitely hear air coming out. So, there we go. Found us a boost leak. Two of them. Okay, so basically what happened was one night is real cold out and I was boosting pretty hard and this coupler uh, unseated from this um, clamp but this pipe is so tight in there, um, it still held boost up to you know a certain amount. Um, it obviously made the turbo work a lot harder to get that boost, but it was making it. Um, so I tightened up all these clamps, and then there's no more leaking from there. And then, um, These two clamps were, uh, this one just needed to be tightened a little bit. This one, um, because of the way this pipe is, um, it's got an angle on it. It was actually sitting like where it was still curving, so it didn't get a very flush um, contact. So basically I just moved the coupler up this way towards some because the pipe goes all the way up to here. So now it's flush and it's nice and tight. And then, of course, there was a, some clamps down there um, that I blew off one day, um, and I just fixed it while I was on the road with my little ratchet tool there. And I thought it was tight, but it wasn't as tight. So basically, I just tested it now up to just under 20 PSI, um, and I couldn't hear any leaks. So success, I think. Good as we're gonna get. Hopefully, uh, 
next time I go to the track I'll have full boosts and I'll uh, try to learn how to launch better. <laughs> so as always guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to find some links to stuff like that or you can just go to Home Depot and buy it. Um, I don't know, it's like eight bucks total or something like that. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. See ya.